welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben and today we have a look at an old relative. Yeah, Ben Riach. I've been to the distillery, but I've been to the distillery and I remember these blue labels and this is now the yeah, the redesign. Yeah, it's it's like the or it remembers of the old design, which was very easy, straightforward, not that welcoming. Because Ben Riach was a distillery which produced in the Chivas Brothers oh, okay. uh, Corporation for the Chivas blend and was one of six distilleries. And when uh, the blend moved down from their throne and gave way to the malt whiskies, several of those distilleries were mothballed, later then sold, reopened, brought back again and resold. <laughs> and that's what happened to Ben Riach. And here we have the old malt whiskey, was, which was available in small numbers beside the Chivas Reel. And the taste should remember oneself to the old uh, Chivas, but yeah. that they changed a lot. Mm -hmm. They know now have a, a better cast selection. Uh, they have ex bourbon casts. They have sherry casts, and they have fresh casts. Yeah, this virgin here is a casts. mixture between you said it bourbon casts, sherry casts, and virgin oak. Ten years matured, not peated. And I think now, before that, before they had the change, they had a bit of a, a mixture. Sometimes uh, the uh, smoky one was available, sometimes not. And now they have a bit of a clearer yeah, range. If, if you go a, a step further back, I was there in 1994. And it was just uh, the time very close for the shutdown of the, uh, the old Chivers plant. And they just refurbished uh, their or one of those malting floors, and then they stopped. Mm. So the effort was <laughs> for nothing. And then to that time, there was only this one Ben Riach, 10 years old, available. What you remember is the time after the reopening, I think around 2000 something, 2003, 2008, probably. Mm -hmm. And then they looked in the warehouses, found a lot, did a lot of uh, finishing processes and uh, well brought back the name to life again. Mm -hmm. And now we have under the new proprietor, which bought the brought up again distillery. Now we have uh, new bottlings and one is uh, this original back to the roots mm -hmm. uh, 25 years ago. And this is reasonable priced around 40 and it's 43%. So easy, enjoyable. And uh, yeah, it's uncolored and having a few uh, fresh virgin oak casts in it uh, gives the possibility to have a wonderful golden, straw golden tone, mm -hmm. which we see here. And the, the Ben Riach Master blender is now Rachel, yeah, Rachel, Rachel Berry. Berry. Yeah. Didn't you meet her when she was working for someone else? Yes, <laughs> I met her twice, yeah. I think. And uh, she is Dr. Rachel Berry. And uh, so she has a, a wonderful uh, nose from the inside <laughs> and as well from the outside. Uh, so she is uh, here the one uh, who uh, selects casks and and finds out uh, mixtures and mm -hmm. the blending process inside single malts. Mm -hmm. I was I was amazed because the distillery it's not small, it's not that big either. It's a, a normal sized mm -hmm. distillery, but they still do sell to the blending market. Um, what what really baffled me because if you have a, a malt like that and you just give away three or five year old stuff. Wouldn't have expected that. Uh, this was a distillery. Well, it's not that big, but production was optimized for the big Chivers Brothers. Yeah, they uh, company. I think they have really a big output for their small size. Probably not that many uh, warehouses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So this is fruity honey mm. and a distant oak. Mm. I find it really, yeah, fresh. A mm -hmm. little bit of oak, but it's yeah, fresh. That that's what what came to my nose the the first time. And you do have a little yeah. honey note, but it's for me it's more like a, a flower note that you know with bees that reminds me of a little bit of honey. So it's a fresh, fruity, flowery hmm, whiskey. Yeah, some vanilla showing through. How many ABVs is that? Forty three. Forty three. Yeah. Okay. Sounds reasonable. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Wonderful. The taste is a lot more intense than the smell was for me. Mm -hmm. There are pears, nectarines, and of course a, a big maltiness. And an aftertaste with almonds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit strange because it's it's far away from what I've smelled. Mm -hmm. I've smelled a lot of fruitiness, but when I have it in my mouth, you have that oakiness, that nuttiness, and almonds, yeah, maybe, maybe some walnuts. And mm -hmm. it's it's dry and unexpectedly not sweet. And a little bit spicy. Yeah, with the second sip, like, the spiciness increases. But not mm -hmm. the spiciness as in a hot chili, but I don't know, like like a, a oaky spiciness. Yeah, but like, uh, if that would have been peppery or chili, then it should stay longer. But it does mm -hmm. not stay for that long. So the maltiness is there. And I think what we taste here is the amount of virgin oak, mm -hmm. which adds a lot to the... Mm -hmm. flavor and I think this the original 10 just has the name the original um, <laughs> in former times they do not have that virgin oak they typically had those bourbon cast re refill bourbon casts they had those hogs heads which were also refill bourbon casts some sherry casts with it um, but uh, this is a brand new whiskey a new expression more depth than the former ones, I think. And mm. even lying in the space side, um, I think it's more intense than the flowery, fruity, malty space ciders. I think mm. it's a little bit more intense than that. Definitely, definitely has has intensity in there. Hmm. Maybe they're distilling a bit faster, so it comes a bit more hefty and rough. Now I would uh, give that to the virgin oaks. But here it says here. I didn't I didn't remember that from my distillery visit. Thanks to a long standing tradition of three styles of whiskey, classic, unpeated, highland peated and triple distilled. Uh -huh. Do they have triple distillation there? I don't think so. But you always have the chance uh, to refill the spirit receiver into the spirit still again. Mm. And then uh -huh. call it the triple distillation. Yes. <laughs> mm. I can't remember that from my distillery visit, so I guess I have to go back and watch my own video. <laughs> the stills, if I re try to remember, uh, the stills were quite pear shaped mm -hmm. and they were really fitted in between beams, trusses, everything. Yes, so and they had the, the condensers outside. Yeah, so it wasn't uh, that open space. And I do not remember if they had two or three stills in a row. I think they had two pairs of two, or was yeah. it three pairs of two? I can't remember that. Or two pairs of three. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I can remember you, you have the, the old malting floors, that showroom. And you go in, there is the big mash tun. To the right, there were the uh, fermenters. And when you go left, there you have the rows of, of stills. I took have a look at the whiskey mm -hmm. database on whiskey.com. <laughs> there I have pictures of the old kiln. 
And there was the old coal for making... Oh, I took the pictures as well. So. Yeah, they're still there. Still, <laughs> they're still there. They're, still they the are coal for there tourists. The and they told me that uh, they do the, the old peating and the old malting, I think, a week, a year or something. They do two, one or two malts, maltings in that kil uh, malting floor. And it's just, and they do it actually into the whiskey. So a few percent of handmade malt is in every Benria. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice story to, story to tell. Mm -hmm. But it's a tasty whiskey. Pretty good. I like it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please feel free to share it with your friends and see you next time.